Hey, as promised, we've got a little bit more yoga happening today. This is physical activity I, uh, and we're going to teach you three yoga poses, uh, the triangle, the tree, and the warrior two. Um, and these ones are standing, um, they're either balancing or they involve a little bit more uh, strength uh, rather than some of the more relaxing ones we've done in the past. So I'm just going to demonstrate these three with a few key points. And then Abby and I are going to walk you through doing them together, right and left. So I'm going to show you from the side, first of all. First one is triangle pose. You'll have your two feet together. You're going to step back the length of one of your own legs. This is why it's called triangle pose, because you create an equilateral triangle with your legs. Remember, an equilateral triangle has three sides the same. Then you're going to pick up your arms so that they're flat, parallel to the ground. You're going to look over your front hand, keeping everything down here steady. You're going to reach as far as you can and then drop that hand to the inside of your heel. If you can touch the ground, great, but don't round your back to touch the ground. If you have to round your back, just keep your hand on your shin, kind of like this. So you're only coming to the ground if you can keep your back straight. That's triangle. Next one is tree pose, which is a balance. Um, it can be a little harder. So what you're going to do is first you're going to transfer the weight to one of your legs. Then you're going to bring your other knee out, keeping the toe on the ground, hips still pointing forward. If that feels okay and you want a greater challenge, you can bring your foot up to your calf. If that still feels okay, you can bring your foot up to your thigh, but you need to avoid your knee. It's not good to press on your knee. If you find yourself wobbling and, uh, and not able to stand here, you're going to go back to this one. Um, if this in itself is still not a great, great enough challenge for you, there's a more advanced one where you're going to bring your heel up to your hip and balance like so. It's much harder though. If you have any knee injuries, you're not going to do that one. All right, so that is tree pose. Next one is warrior two. Similar to triangle, but this time you're going to step back a bigger step. It's going to be the length of your leg plus some. Think about the length of your leg and one of your feet. Then looking down, you're going to track that knee over your heel. It's really important that you don't let it come into the inside here. So you actually have to look down at first. Let that kneecap come over your foot. Make a 90 degree angle here. Arms float out parallel. And then your gaze is over your middle finger. You should feel quite a stretch in the groin. You should feel those large leg muscles working. You should feel your chest and opening. So that's warrior two. All right, I got a helper here. We're going to do this. I'm going to write a purple one. All right, so we're going to start and we're going to do triangle pose at the top. So we're going to start coming right up to the top of your mat. Yep. Um, by the way, you don't need a yoga mat for this, especially if you do it outside. Um, if you, or if you have a hardwood floor, just make sure you have bare feet. You don't want to be slipping and sliding. Actually, Abby, let's come back a little bit over just so you can see us. All right, so we're going to start by transferring the weight to the right leg, and we're going to step back the length of one of our own legs. Two heels in one line, so no other right skinny. Come back up. Right leg, left leg back. Yeah. So a little bit more. Back foot angled. Both legs are straight. Arms float up. Straight lines. Yeah, there we go. And then once you've got that straight line, you're gonna hinge with your hips and bring those fingertips down inside. We're gonna hold for three breaths. And windmill up. Let the arms go, walk the back foot in about halfway and coming up two feet together. We're gonna to reverse that left leg forward this time. Two heels in one line, really important, leg straight, leg straight. Arms up flat. There we go. Gaze is over your middle finger. Hinge forward and bringing those fingertips down. And looking up to the ceiling if you can. Arms nice and straight, one on top of the other. Perfect. That's okay. And last breath. Inhale, stay. Exhale, windmill up. Let the arms go. Walk the back foot in a few steps. And to the top of the mat. Now we're going to come in the middle of the mat and do tree pose, right leg first. Let's bring the hands to heart center. Weight is on your right 
leg, left knee comes out, toes are grazing the mat, try bringing your foot to your calf. If that's okay, try bringing your foot to your thigh. And if it doesn't work the first few times, just go back to your, go back to your calf. Yeah, perfect. And let's hold it. Three breaths. Good. Inhale, stay. Exhale, release. And we'll switch. Weights on the other leg. Knee turns out, toes on the mat, hands heart center, and foot comes up to the calf. If that feels okay, try the thigh. If not, just stay on the calf. Yeah, so if you find yourself hopping, just go back to the calf there, sweetie. Go back to the calf. Good. So doesn't it would be better for you to stay on the calf or toe on the mat even and be able to hold it for three breaths than to try the harder one and not have it work. Inhale, stay. Exhale, release. And back up to the top of the mat. We're going to do warrior A, right and left. Weights on your right leg, bend your left leg, and we're going to step back, a big step, the length of one of your own legs and one of your feet. Now, take a look at that knee. We're going to let that knee come over our heel. Knee out to the side a bit more, sweetie. Okay, so we take a shorter step. Good. Make sure this knee is over that. Now, arms come up. Three breaths, looking over the middle finger. Inhale, stay. Exhale, let it go. Walk the back foot in. And coming up to the top of the mat, switching legs. Good. Arms float up. Bending the front knee so it comes over. Good. Yep. Three breaths. Exhale. Last one. Inhale. Stay. Exhale. Release the arms. Straighten the leg. Walk the back foot in. Come up to the top of the mat. And let's just come down into a seated position. Keep your hands on your knees. And a few nice deep breaths. You can either close your eyes or soften the gaze to the floor in front of you. And a few nice deep cleansing breaths like we did in one of the very first physical activities we posted a few weeks ago. Yeah, that's right. Big breath into the, through the nose and out through the mouth. And open your eyes. And after every yoga class, we say namaste. It means the light within me honors and respects the light within all of you. Namaste.